Brooke. I'm currently in my second year of university studying psychology and Japanese. I'm actually doing a double major in psychology, so Japanese is an elective for me. Probably the hardest elective I could have picked, but I enjoy it a lot. Um, I was always around languages from birth. Um, my now is a Aboriginal languages teacher with the Yarrow Language Centre in Broome, so she knows about three well and another three she's learning, so lots of language when I was born. Um, Japanese, I started with martial arts. Um, when I got the option to study a little bit in high school, I got the option to learn German and Japanese, and I'm like, let's try some Japanese. I want to I wanna one day study um, my martial arts in Japan from the headmaster. Last year I got to do that. These are some of my friends from Australia who came with me to study and some of the students at the dojo as well. Um, I'm going to be continuing to study at the home dojo under the headmaster in Japan when I go uh, and study on exchange next semester. So it'll be a whole semester at Kobe University um, studying Japanese language culture. So very exciting. Thank you. So Brooke. What opportunities has studying Japanese provided you? So, uh, first and foremost, being able to study Japanese um, has allowed me to access the knowledge of my martial arts in Japan. So, um, when I went over there last year, I knew enough Japanese that I could translate some of the things that um, my teachers were saying to my friends. Small things, but it, it felt like I felt really like I'd achieved something by doing this. But I knew that I wanted to know more. I wanted to be able to learn this very ancient system of martial arts from, from the people that have been practicing it, who can trace their families back to the beginning several, several centuries ago. So uh, this year, um, my exchange is probably the thing that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, while I don't quite have all of the language skills to study all of my units in Japanese, I will still be immersed in that in-country in, in experience and um, I feel like that would be a huge, huge part of my language development. Um, Hopefully this means that I can keep going back to the dojo in Japan to learn um, for many years to come. Thank Brooke, you. what do you enjoy the most about the Japanese classes at UWA? Um, I guess, and I guess this goes for any language classes, the opportunity to be social and get to know new people. There's a lot of classes um, where most people will turn up and they're there for a purpose and then they leave. And I found that quite jarring after a very social environment in high school. So uh, languages is where I made some of my first friends at uni um, because you have to talk to them. You have to talk to them to practice. You have to talk to them to listen and, and speak and learn. So, and often we'd be asking each other, oh, how many, how many people in your family? Or what are your interests in Japanese? But we eventually would get to know each other and I've made some of my best friends from Japanese. Um, being, being UWA, there's um, always been access to a ton of programs and opportunities like the speech contest, I am considering it, um, the speech contest, <laughs> um, the speech contests, there's a lot, there's various programs for doing shorter term stays in Japan, um, like in the winter and summer breaks. So, um, yeah, be, being here I've had a lot of contacts, a lot of um, social activities, especially with probably the highlight is other exchange students, so people from Japan who have come here to study. So I have a friend, we meet up every week um, and we, we trade language issues. So I'll have a look at her essay and she's like, why do I need to put that word there? And I'm like, just is, I don't, I don't know. Um, this, is, this is my first language, I didn't learn it formally. And then I'll ask the same question to her. But why have I got to change the form of that verb? And she's like, just is. <laughs> so try 
trying to trying to share this this struggle of, of being like almost like we're on the other side of ovals and we're all yelling it to each other. We can't quite hear each other all the time, but still trying anyway because we want to get better. Um, so that's that's what UWA has offered me in Japanese. <laughs>